My girlfriend always says, you never tell me how much you love me. I don't want to upset her. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, we were making love, and she had, well, she had an asthma attack. I did briefly think I was doing really rather well. <laughs> then about sort of the 90-second, two-minute mark, I thought, hang on, she's laying this on a bit thick. <laughs> Either she wants something or she's not well. And she wasn't well. I totally panicked. I didn't know what to do. So I phoned a friend of mine who's a doctor and he lives just down the road from me, and I said to him, you know, what should I do? He said, well, yeah, don't panic. It could be quite serious. It probably isn't, but I'll pop right over. I said, what should I do in the meantime? He said, finish yourself off. <laughs> don't give me that look. It was the right thing to do. I realised I shouldn't really take the piss out of the asthmatics. They've got enough to worry about. The National Asthmatics Emergency Helpline Service was shut down recently. Apparently a problem with all the obscene phone calls. <laughs> oh, asthmatics in? <laughs> no, I would have heard you. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's got this. In, uh, there are lots of couples in this evening. How many couples do we have? Quite a few. By, by show of hands. How many do we have by shouting out? Hundreds. Brilliant. <laughs> Wondering, does anyone have this arrangement in their relationship? It's becoming ever more common now for couples to have an arrangement whereby they're totally faithful to each other, but they've got a clause whereby if one of them was to meet a certain celebrity, they would be allowed to stray. <laughs> Has anyone got that going on in their relationship? Who have you got? I notice that you're sitting next to a lady. <laughs> uh, you're going to do what when you go home? She's going to kill you? Yeah. Right. Or strap one on and fuck you, certainly. <laughs> one or the other. Anyone else got one? You've got one. Who have you got? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey? <laughs> All right. <laughs> he might be up for it. And who's your boyfriend got? Anything I'm not bothered. <laughs> what a, sorry? Anything good looking? What, a bit of a change? Yeah, lovely. <laughs> you can't say that. The reason I mention it is because I've got an arrangement with my girlfriend whereby if I ever get the opportunity to sleep with Kylie Minogue, she can fuck off. <laughs> um, any other ultimate sexual fantasies? My girlfriend. <laughs> well, maybe we could double team her. <laughs> my girlfriend is your ultimate sexual fantasy. <laughs> yes, people see my girlfriend and they see me and they say, she's only going out with you because you're famous. And I say, but I am famous. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> is, is that your girlfriend? That is my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? <laughs> I'm not going to swap if that's OK. <laughs> Can I just clarify, you are a beautiful lady, no disrespect to you, <laughs> but he heckled, I had to put him down, <laughs> and the only way to get to him was through you. <laughs> I like the way as well, I suggested your girlfriend wasn't good looking enough, and you applauded. <laughs> yeah, you'll be using those hands later on, won't you? <laughs> My girlfriend can't have orgasms during intercourse. But it's not a problem, because I can. <laughs> I gave my girlfriend an orgasm, and she spat it back in my face. <laughs> when my first girlfriend choked to death, it was a terrible blow. <laughs> I had to finish myself off. <laughs> so my girlfriend said the other day, Lakeside is so crowded, no one goes there anymore. <laughs> we were in the car, she said, where would we be without sat-nav? <laughs> I was looking after a friend's cat while my friends went on holiday and I was worried about overfeeding the cat, so I asked her about it because I thought, well, she'll know about that sort of thing. Here's what she said. She said, don't worry, cats aren't pigs like dogs. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Cat 
Cats aren't pigs, like dogs. <laughs> Good, well, that's really clarifying. This. <laughs> they say don't masturbate, you'll go blind. Yeah, only if you get it in your eyes. <laughs> Aim away. Who do you think about when you masturbate? <laughs> Her. So do I, she's lovely. That was a good answer. You think about your partner when you masturbate. I think I'll put my hand on my heart, speak on behalf of every man in here and say, when we masturbate, we think about you, ladies. We think about our partners, our wives and our girlfriends. Yeah. We think... <laughs> we do. I do. I always think of my girlfriend. I think, Ocean's walk in. <laughs> she doesn't even know I've got these magazines. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I failed to perform sexually. <laughs> well, how is that a laughing matter? <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I failed to perform sexually. I'm not going to go into detail. Suffice it to say, I arrived early. My girlfriend said, don't worry, that happens to a lot of guys. I said, right, there's two things I'm at with that. <laughs> Firstly, who are these a lot of guys? <laughs> and secondly, if it's happening to more than one of us, don't you think it could be your fault? <laughs> she says there's never an excuse to raise your hand to a woman. What if you've got a question? She says that because she's a woman, she's good at doing two things at the same time. If that's the case, why is the threesome out of the question? <laughs> I was in the high street the other day. There was, there was a girl there with a clipboard. She said, could you spare a few minutes for cancer research? I said, all right, but we're not going to get much done. <laughs> we can pop into boots and see if they've got anything. <laughs> My girlfriend said to me recently, we can't have sex, I've got a headache. I said, I'm going to be right at the other end. <laughs> Do you want to get back to me if you get a pain in your JJ? <laughs> That's right, I said JJ. what of it? <laughs> Let's talk about gifts, because gifts are very important when you're in a relationship. They show your partner how you feel about them. This is interesting, my girlfriend suggested last Christmas that we limit ourselves to £20 for each other's presents. But I wasn't thinking about spending that kind of money. <laughs> Obviously, if you're buying gifts for a woman, it's pretty easy, just go for the classics. You know, champagne, chocolates, flowers. Unless you're dating an alcoholic bulimic with hay fever. <laughs> I buy my girlfriend flowers every week because I really fancy the girl in the florist. <laughs> I've told the girl in the florist my girlfriend's dead. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea at the time. It slightly backfired. You try explaining to your other half why you got her a wreath four weeks in a row. <laughs> Obviously, different flowers express different emotions. So, for example, red flowers say passion. Yellow flowers say love, and self-raising flower says, make me a cake. <laughs> My girlfriend said recently, she said, we need some romance in our lives, so I took the hint, I booked a hotel, flowers, chocolate, champagne, petals on the bed, the full bit, ended up having incredible sex. Of course, it turned out, she wanted me to take her. <laughs> What's the fucking point of that? I live with her. <laughs> She'll be there when I get back. <laughs> Put the kettle on, love, and fucking knackered. <laughs> I'm not saying I feel cheated, but when we got together, she said to me, she said, I'm very liberal about sex. I don't care what people do, as long as they're consenting adults and no one gets hurt. There's always a catch, isn't there? <laughs> no one gets hurt. Consenting. <laughs> adults. <laughs> Basically, no fun. <laughs> My girlfriend recently had a phantom pregnancy, and now we have a little baby ghost. It's quite a sweet joke, isn't it? It's not hurting anyone. And that's why, every time I tell that joke, I kick a tramp. <laughs> Even things up karmically. Are there any couples in this evening? Give us a shout, the couples. Whee! Oh, lots of couples in tonight. This is a bit silly, I think. Uh, but for Valentine's, I've got my girlfriend's sex vouchers as her present. <laughs> I didn't realise they were transferable. <laughs> Turns out they accept them at her work. You get to the stage in a long-term relationship where you want to experiment sexually. But, you know, it can be awkward. And what if she finds out? <laughs> I think the men in the room will be able to relate to this. My girlfriend always wants to stay in and watch Downton Abbey. But I want to go out and get a new girlfriend. <laughs> I thought it'd be OK for me to have sex with other women because my girlfriend and I were on a break. But apparently, I ruined that weekend at Centre Parks. My girlfriend made me fire our cleaner because she said the cleaner was too good looking and she didn't want her in the house. How mental is that? She was a really good cleaner. She was especially good at getting spunk out of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Do you ever do this, Glasgow? Do you ever get asked to do the washing up and you do it really badly on purpose so you never get asked again? Do you do that? Yeah. My girlfriend does that with blowjobs. <laughs> Seriously, her blowjobs suck. <laughs> and it's not just me, a lot of my friends have commented. <laughs> my girlfriend likes to have the lights on during sex. Yeah, because she likes to be able to read. <laughs> Which I think is to be encouraged in a girl of her age. <laughs> I'm kidding! <laughs> She's actually scared of the dark. <laughs> that divides people, though, doesn't it? Some people like the lights on, some people always have to have the lights off. I like the lights on during sex. My best mate likes to have the lights off. And fair enough, his missus is a pig. <laughs> My girlfriend's got one of those tiny little strips of hair. What are they called? Moustache. Moustache. <laughs> I got into an argument with my girlfriend. She said, you treat this house like a hotel. I said, I have never snorted cocaine off a hooker's tits in this house. <laughs> <laughs> I told my girlfriend the top she was wearing was too revealing. I said, Jimmy sometimes cries after sex. We, uh, we... I bought my girlfriend a book called Cheap and Easy Vegetarian Cooking, which is ideal for her because not only is she a vegetarian... <laughs> she's reading a book at the moment called Women That Love Too Much, which I think could have the title shortened to Sluts. <laughs> the reason old men use Viagra is not because they're impotent. It's because old women are so very ugly. When it comes to the environment, it's not us, but our children and our children's children that will pay for our mistakes, which is a relief. <laughs> no matter how much you give a homeless person for a cup of tea, you never get that tea. <laughs> Throwing acid is wrong in some people's eyes. <laughs> I went up to the airport information desk I said, how many airports are there in the world? <laughs> she said, I don't know. I went up to the check-in desk. The girl said to me, window seat or aisle? I said, window seat or your what? Are you threatening me? <laughs> she said, no, 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 calm down, calm down. Window seat or aisle? I said, I'll have a seat. <laughs> I bought one of those round-the-world air tickets, 1,200 pounds, amazing value. 37 hours later, I arrive back at Heathrow. <laughs> right, some sex tips. Let's try and be grown up about this, yeah? <laughs> Gentlemen, if you're having sex with a new partner for the first time, never take a run-up. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you like, you want to make a good first impression, but you don't want to actually leave a dent. <laughs> a lot of women don't like it if you leave your socks on during sex, but I always leave one on because I don't want to get her pregnant. <laughs> Hmm. Some women don't like to have the lights on, but it can't be helped in my case because they come on automatically when I open the car door. <laughs> and then they stay on for 20 seconds, so it is over. <laughs> this isn't advice, this is more of a reminder, and it's a reminder to men in long-term relationships, because standards can slide as a relationship goes on. Just a reminder for the men in long-term relationships, it is never acceptable, never acceptable, yeah, to answer the phone when lovemaking. Even if you hilariously pick up by saying, I can't talk now, I'm going into a tunnel. <laughs> Some common myths you may have heard. These, they're just myths, they're not true. The best lubricant for anal sex is not tears. <laughs> it's blood. I bought some KY jelly. It said on the box not to be taken internally. I thought, why do they think it's fucking going? <laughs> <laughs> if you are going to have sex, I can't stress this enough, if you're going to have sex with someone that you don't know, always, always, always ask. <laughs> Very important. Let's talk about sexual health, shall we? Uh, STDs, STIs and the like, because there's a big difference, my young friend, between giving a girl goosebumps and giving her a rash. <laughs> the weirdest one I heard about recently from an audience member was a Simba. Have you heard of a Simba? You know a Simba? 
A Simba is from the Lion King, I believe. <laughs> it's when you're with a, a beautiful lady, you're making sweet love to her, and you finish on her chest. Fine. A little bit disrespectful, some might think, but fine. And you take... Simba. <laughs> Bring in a little Disney magic to the bedroom. I... <laughs> I'm not sure my girlfriend would appreciate a Simba, but I think, I think I could just do it on my own. I think the next time, I think the next time I'm at home and I've got broadband and a bit of time to myself, I think I might try and finish there. Simba. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr and I've got a new tour. It's called Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny. Now, I think jokes are like magnets. They attract some people. Some people like my comedy and a million of you came to see me on my last tour. Thanks very much, by the way. Uh, but like magnets, jokes attract and they repel. Some people are repelled by my sense of humour. If that's you, don't come and see me live. But if you like this kind of thing, come and see Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny. I'll be, uh, well, I'll be everywhere. Go to jimmycarr.com for details.